My name is Mats Lannestad. I'm a senior scientist at ILRI. I work in the program of livestock systems and environment. And um, I'm also the science focal point for the livestock and fish flagship called uh, System Analysis for Sustainable Innovations. And I particularly, in my own research interest, focus on environmental issues related to livestock production. And that, of course, also includes natural resource management. And uh, we have two uh, major projects I work with. Uh, originally, we got a rather large grant from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to look at um, environmental impacts at landscape scale uh, from livestock production um, you can say changes in the systems. So for example, if you would do a large investment somewhere, and very often that investment is checked for um, productivity and so forth, but it's not checked for the environmental dimensions. So we look at four dimensions, water, land, biodiversity, and greenhouse gases. And in this, um, uh, when we developed this framework, we, we have now moved it towards have a very clear participatory uh, part in it, so the local stakeholders can uh, they first contribute to helping us setting the baseline, and then they also help out setting the, the scenarios. And then, um, instead of having experts doing the decisions, they will then participate and see the outcome of different development, how it impacts the environment, and then they can also contribute to making the decisions. And in this um, regard, uh, I can say as a follow-up to this ongoing gender research that has been strongly supported in Livestock and Fish, the mainstreaming gender work, we now uh, also try to take this on board and use some of this, this um, insights in how we set up the participatory workshops and, and how we see how this can impact the people. And we just recently uh, got uh, another very large grant uh, actually one million dollar from DFID to, to develop this uh, framework further. The framework is called uh, Cleaned and um, here we will have an even clearer part where we look on uh, the equity process, how the dynamics work in, in the workshops and we have a special team working on that. Another thing we work on which is also gender focused, which is a new thing, is um, to look at how do you manage natural resources. And particularly, we have the water use, land use, nutrient use, and many people earlier looked at, I'm a water scientist myself, look at how can you use the water resources in the landscape. But what the farmers are really interested in is how much biomass they can produce, the crops, the feed, the grass, and so forth. So now we're trying to develop a um, framework also on the landscape scale to see how do uh, the stakeholders manage the biomass across the landscape. And this is of course then a higher level than the normal gender research when you look at the household. It's also a lower level than for example the district or the national level. So this is a new approach to see we Myself, I have a biophysical background, so I can look at that. But then we will include also the, the, the um, social equity and gender dimensions at the landscape level. We try to capture that in our framework. And this is something very exciting we are working on right now. And when we try to, in this biomass uh, framework at landscape scale, we think it's very important to uh, map and capture and understand how different stakeholders sort of uh, their role and their opportunities and uh, how they sort of um, get access to resources. So when we come out with uh, some kind of um, policy advice, we want to make sure that we've taken into account also uh, various levels of, we can say, less fortunate people or less fortunate stakeholders in the process, so they included all along. Otherwise, uh, we might give the wrong uh, advice to policymakers, and this is particularly important when you work at these multiple scales. So the, the, the smallholders or the less rich smallholders, they probably work at the small scale, and if you then uh, move at the larger scale, you might miss their what is important for them. And we got a very big, um, also another big grant from uh, uh, actually Waterland and Ecosystems, CRP, 
and then we do it together with Life Second Fish to bridge the livestock production with the natural resource management and then the biomass is in between and then we put in the, the gender dimension here. So these are two exciting projects looking at environmental and natural resource management at landscape scale where we will in different ways include gender. Thank you.